The United States air quality is um, generally good, especially relative to the rest of the world. But during events like these wildfires, um, I think everybody has to be aware of what the air quality conditions are um, and just make sure that, um, you know, they're, they're trying to limit their, their outdoor activities, limit their exposure. These fires are producing very large uh, plumes of smoke that um, have been transported all across the continents of the United States and even to Europe. So we can use information from satellites from space to track the current location of the, the smoke plumes and then their transport. The reason the smoke is being transported such long distances is because it's been lofted up into the atmosphere and so it's caught in the jet stream. So it's traveling about 20 to 25,000 feet above the surface. So at, th at that distance, it's not impacting surface air quality. So the smoke has to mix down to the surface where people live and are breathing in order to cause health effects. The smaller the particles are, the more dangerous they are because you can inhale them into your lungs and they can penetrate deep into the lungs and pass into the bloodstream. The US EPA regulates two categories of these particles. So uh, one of them is called fine particles or fine particle pollution. They're particles that have diameters less than or equal to 2.5 microns. Um, and so you can think about 2.5 microns is about 20 to 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. The people that are most vulnerable to the effects of exposure to fine particles are what we call the sensitive groups. So these are children, senior citizens, and people that have existing heart and lung diseases like asthma. The air quality index or the AQI that is a color-coded scale that U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, developed to communicate air quality conditions to the public. So the best air quality is green or good, and then the worst is maroon or hazardous. God, it's so sad. So this is really unprecedented fire activity for the, the Western U.S. These fires, they're so big right now, and there's so many of them, and there's so much smoke that um, it's really going to take a big change before air quality conditions go back to normal.